Hello everyone, my name is Elliot Baines, I'm the director and founder of Spiral Stage Lightning and today we are going to be looking at plotting in Capture 2021. So I think this is like one of our first tutorials in the office. I know we've done a few reviews actually thinking about it. But today we are using our brand new PC which has got an RTX 3090 in it. So tutorial is going to be really, really much more fun to create actually. But today it's not going to require much processing power because we are going to be looking at plots. Literally everything to do with plotting and capture we're going to be looking at today from colour coding, plot views, titling, everything like that. But if you're new around here, it'd be very much appreciated if you could subscribe, turn notifications on, check out our social media links down below and give this video a like if you, if you like it, of course. So anyways, let's get into it. So for the purpose of this video, I've made a very basic festival stage. This includes your washers, profiles, blinders, strobes, stuff like that. Basically, your normal rig for festivals, which is wash, beams, spots, blinders, strobes, you name it. And it's also got some source files in it. What we're going to do first is we're going to name the actual plot itself, if that makes sense. So your information. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the design tab, click project, and we're going to select our project name. So I'm just going to call this tutorial. Where's it at? Project location, spiral stage lighting. And basically you can fill all the information in that's needed for your plot. I'm just going to put my name on it because I can not be bothered thinking up names right now. Master Electrician Elliot Payne's taking all the credit. And the client, we'll just put Spiral Stage Lighting. Drawing logo is basically the logo if it's your client or if it's actually you. So what we're going to do is we're going to select logo, uh, drawing logo, and then we're going to select what logo we're wanting. So I'm just going to select the star logo for now. So if we were supposed to go into live view, the logo actually pops up here as well, including the name of the show, everything like that. Let's go back to plot view. So now we're going to color code our fixtures. So if we select fixtures, so if you select the top fixture, hold shift and select the bottom fixture, it will select all of the fixtures. But let's say we want to make this into a group. Let's let's save time. So if we select design, fixture groups, add, and then we name that wash washes every time we select washes it will basically select all of the washes you selected or any fixture you've chosen we're not going to do this right now though because it will probably add a lot of time on and we just want to color code it that's all we want to do so we've got our washer selected if we select layers as you can see i've already created a layer but to create a layer if you click add and then just call it fixture and then we select our paper solid color select it being orangey kind of color if you want and then if we hover over it drag and drop onto the fixtures it will change color you can also change the paper text color you can change the paper color paper weight screen color everything like that but we've already got layers made so let's just use the layers we've already created so again to select the fixtures you want aura top hold shift bottom fixture there we go auras drag and drop it on Unicodes, top, shift, bottom, design, layers, select the layer we want, drag and drop, boom. There we go. We've got the show named. We've got the fixtures all coloured and now we've got to create the actual plot. So what we need to do for that is scroll down, select plots, add and name it. Let's say we'll, we'll do a top view first. If we select edit, it goes into the plot view. So... We've got a blank piece of paper, nothing's there. Let's add a view in. So what we need to do to do that is select library and you've got all these different things you can add. View, templates, images, text, frame, layer keys, symbol keys, everything like that. But we'll start off with the view because that's the main thing. That's the whole point of a plot. Let's put that in and let's just enlarge that to the size of the paper. Then what we can do to alter the scale, everything like that, we can use these arrows down here. So zooming in or moving left and right. Or if you want, you can be a little bit more specific. Click design, go to scale and you can change it from here. So you can be very, very specific and put in uh, numbers here uh, on the far right. Then you've got the middle number, which is a little bit more less specific. So you can put in 50, zooms in a little bit more. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to move it up as well because we're going to add a header in in a second. So now what we can do is change the background color if we want, border color, text color, border size, corner radius, title, uh, title size, or you know the type of view you want. So you've got front, top, section, perspective, everything like that. Orthographic, if I'm saying that right, I can never say that right. But for now, we're going to stick with top. We're going to add in a grid by double clicking, select yes. We're not going to change the grid width or height because I'm pretty happy with this, but you can do if you want. Again, your scale, you can show your scale if you want on the actual plot and the scale size. So basically that's the size of the title um, that if you're showing your scale, if that makes sense. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add our main header in. So if you click library, I'm going to go with header template landscape. So I'm going to add that in. As you can see, Capture has already pretty much added the text, everything like that we need. And if we go back to design, you can change everything, you know, from border color, text color, everything like that from here. What we're going to do is we are going to change our header size though to about 10. Now, as you can see, you can't see it. There's little, three little lines and three dots. That means the header isn't big enough for the text to actually be seen so if we were supposed to move it up a little bit now it's a little bit more better to see instead of that because there's no information there let's say i don't want these logos here i can change the logos get rid of the jarring version everything like that but you can also change the image so let's say if we select image set image and choose a logo there we go we've added that logo in if we select it again make sure you're in design image set image add the star in this time there we go so now that has been added in and let's say we want to remove the image you just double click the image and remove it and it's gone there we go so that is our top view made you can change the text um color um, of the addresses in the design tab so now we don't really know what fixtures what i mean we do because there's not many fixtures there and it's pretty understandable but let's say we were giving this to riggers who are going to rig this at a festival. We need to let them know what fixtures are what. So if we click library, we click symbol key, drag and drop it in. There you go. It's already been added in. So let's say we want that there. There we go. So that's our top view. So you've got your symbols, you've got your header view, everything like that. So then if you want, you can export it to PDF. You can print it, everything like that. So let's say we want to change everything a little bit more specifically, like the text size, symbol scale, everything like that. What we need to do is click plot styles, add, give it a name, main view, and then we can change everything from the text size, symbol scale, everything like that. Let's say we want to change our text size to 100 millimeters, change the symbol scale to 50. Then if we click more, apply to all views, it will change. Let's change the symbol scale to 100 though, because that looks a bit weird. There we go, symbol text size, put it to 100 millimeters, symbol small text size, 100 millimeters. There we go. So if we click plots, click the plot we want to change, edit, then we select plot style and click main view, everything will change. I didn't change much then, but as you can see, it does change. Um, so you can change it to however you want in plot styles, numbers, symbol size, everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out. If it did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn notifications on. That'd be very much appreciated. And also again, make sure to check out our social media links down below in the description, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, we're pretty much on everything. So go check us out. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.